Hacker YouTube. Today we're talking hard sets in the hypertrophy series. Now that's a term that you will hear a lot from people who actually know a ton about programming. It's a valid term. That being said, I don't necessarily subscribe to the overall definition of that topic and therefore I feel the need to inscribe it within my hypertrophy series. So what I define as hard sets are going to be the most important sets in your program period because they're the ones who are going to produce the highest quality of tonnage that you're going to get you're going to get a bunch of tonnage it's going to be a hard number but of that hard number only a fraction is going to come from hard sets you understand that from that notion you should make sure that as high as a percentage as possible of your tonnage comes from those hard sets because they are sets by definition, which are taking place in very selective intensity windows that are being very challenging, that you're pushing to failure, that's very important, and that can be repeated enough so that you actually accumulate tonnage and are not a one-off thing. In my word, a set that you can only do once every 15 days because it buries you too much is not a hard set because it's not something that is going to be continuous within the program. A hard set can be repeated. And it should be, because it shows that you have the muscular endurance to repeat the feet and to damage the muscle fiber again and again. So, from that, you also get that we're going to have multiple hard sets per session. You should not have any session with zero hard sets. But of course, the opposite is also true. There shouldn't be a session with too many hard sets. Why? Because past a certain point, it's not a hard set anymore. You see, just because you fell on a lift doesn't mean it was a hard set. That's the difference between an artificial hard set and an organic hard set. And I will make the distinction in the series. But for example, if you do a set of 100 reps and you fell at 88, it might be a super tough set but it doesn't qualify as a hard set. Why? The intensity window was not relevant and most likely you failed due to cardiovascular failure. Uh, for me, a hard set is always going to be defined by the fact that it's ended by muscular failure. Your muscular endurance was not able to take the brunt. You had to stop. That's excellent. It means that you pushed the muscle to the limit. When it comes to the number of hard sets that are going to be possible within the program, it depends from individual to individual. Most of the time, beginners are going to have a smaller amount of hard sets because they don't have the muscular endurance and the work capacity to repeat those feats. The more advanced you become, the more hard sets you have. But even then, depending on the body part you're targeting, how advanced you are with certain lifts and movement patterns, you're going to have more or less hard sets and certain muscle groups across individuals are going to be much more prone to needing several hard sets. Why? Because they have the ability to handle those hard sets. If you want to understand more about that, check the video I made about small versus big muscle group. There is a continuum when it comes to the endurance of a muscle and the way it should be trained it's synergistic in a sense. So that's, in my opinion, a hard set. That's what defines a hard set. The intensity of the set, in a sense, defines it, but it means it needs to be understood within the realm of reps and sets because it doesn't exist without it. You can have multiple rep ranges that represent hard sets. And this is where I'm going to end the video with a topic that I think differentiates my definition of hard sets and the way I apply them for hypertrophy. Many people are going to use hard sets and in reality what they're doing is they're doing strength work that are going to build up through their warm-up to a peak set or a peak number of sets if they know what they're doing that, are, that is going to create very high amounts of tonnage that are definitely going to be hard sets because it's well crafted but that's it. They stop there. And then they do volume, they do accessories, and they never do hard sets for these. Meaning what? Meaning that the vast majority of their quality tonnage comes from strength work. In my opinion, this is not a good approach for bodybuilders. Bodybuilders should do the opposite. 
it, I'm not saying you shouldn't have hard sets for your strength work, but I'm saying that they shouldn't make up the vast majority of it. They shouldn't be the bigger percentage. You will do your strength work. You will do hard sets if you need to. But if doing hard sets kills your ability to do hard sets for the rest of the program, it's not worth it. Why? Because what is going to follow the movements that are going to follow the big compound movement that open the workout are going to make up most of the tonnage by default. So you want that tonnage to be quality. And how do you make tonnage quality? Hard sets. So all of these are going to be hard sets. That's my difference. That's how I'm different from the pack from what I see on YouTube Fitness. Every single set I do past the warm-ups are hard sets. Why? I push to failure. I enter rep ranges that are intense enough that I go back to baseline, but never at 100%. So I know the muscle fiber is damaged and I manage the volume and intensity to make sure that I quit the hard sets before they become artificial hard sets. And I will finish also by uh, exemplifying what, I'm, what I mean by that. If you do close grip bench with 200 pounds, there will come a time where you will not be able to do that weight again if you were in a smart rep range that challenges you. This represents the amount of sets that it takes for you to quit hard sets and enter sub-maximal sets because you're going to either fail on the lift, you're not going to get your reps, or you're going to have to strip the bar. You stop there. That's why you stop. This is why for most of my lifts, I do three to four sets. Because in my opinion, this is where hard sets shine. And this gives you the chance to, within the session, compartmentalize every single uh, movement pattern so that they are all hard sets. If you have a body part split, this is even better. Why? Because you're going to be able to target each body part and they are each going to get their hard sets, high amounts of high quality tonnage, and you're going to be golden. That's going to promote muscle hypertrophy like nothing else. Thank you for watching. This was sort of the introduction into what hard sets are. I will make many more videos getting into the details of the practice because it is key for muscle size. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.